turtle. Sean's being a classic dick, and he's not letting me get any upper body control. So I can't really like get my arm inside here. I can't get a motorcycle grip. I can't get a seatbelt. I'm gonna turn rather than trying to control the upper body. I'm turning, and my chest is going approximately onto his lower back, and I'm grabbing his far leg. So I'm changing my configuration from this angle to this angle, where I'm grabbing underneath near his instep, and then. After I get my chest to his lower back and I grab his foot, I'm wedging my knee and my shin into this space here. So, grab, and I find this space with my shin, and I try to drive it in. So now I'm inside his structure. Option number one, I'm looking to pull him out of base. I'm probably going to need this foot in base to do it. I drive off this foot and try to find his Achilles right here as I bring this hook inside, and I end up in what's usually known as the truck position. I'll push on this foot here to pin his hip to the mat as I use the placeholder system to move up his body, taking the back, ending up on my elbow. The follow-up movement is going to be, I end up in this position, slide my shin in place. I'm trying to pull him out of base in this direction, but he's trying to drop his hip to the floor here to prevent me from doing that. So I go to pull, I can't quite pull, so I jump or roll over my shoulder, finding his foot as I roll and inserting this hook. All right, now I end up again in the struck position, reinforcing my foot, I pin it to the mat, arm, arm, under the head. I have to relieve his bottom hook because it's limiting my hip mobility. So I move it out from that grapevine position into like a standard hook and ideally I end up on my elbow, on his back. 